Hey guys, today we are looking at a Synology A-Bay DS1819 Plus and we're going to be adding the M2D20 Synology um, adapter card and what that's going to allow us to do is add these two uh, 500 gig M.2 drives and we're going to do read and write caching for this unit because this unit does not have the M.2 drive slots on the bottom. That's usually in uh, some of the models, not all of them. The, uh, the A-Bay does not have that but it does have the expansion port on the back. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, add this additional card and so we can do some read and write caching. Just wanna show you on the back here, uh, we do have the uh, power jack, we have the four one gigabit ethernets, we have two uh, eSATA ports, and then we have the three USB 3 pronouns. There is an additional one in the front of the unit. And then here's our expansion port so we can add that um, M.2 D20 card. Now here's what our card looks like. You just get some instructions. I like the newer model because the newer model does come with this big heat sink, which is gonna be nice because uh, M.2 drives are known for creating some heat. All right, once we get out of the box, you, we have this nice heat sink here and then it's a breathable um, plate here. Now the older card did not have this. It was a complete seal card. So it looks like they've definitely improved a lot of this, especially with the, the giant heat sink now that you have on here. So we're going to go ahead and slide our M.2 drives on this, and then we'll be able to add this into our Synology bit here. All right. Once we have everything laid out, um, it gave us these couple of standoffs that we're going to need. We're going to need to grab two of the screws. Uh, cause as you see, when we get our SATA, drives here when we go to put it in we don't have a standoff for our drive here so you're going to want to add that into your card so we're just going to take the standoffs and put one by one in the hole and then on the back side of this we have to flip this over and then we got to put in our screws All right, you can see now we have our two standoffs there. So we can lay that back down. Now we can go ahead and slide our M.2 drives down and put another screw in there. There you have it, now you got both drives on there. So now let's go ahead and add these uh they came with these thermo pads so we're going to want to put these onto our chips here and it looks like the instructions do tell you to put it on the bottom of the heat sink so we're going to flip that over we're going to make sure we know where it's going to go so, so we need to put them in these spots that's why you always always double check so we peel them off So that's what you want. And then on the other one, you can see the pads are all reaching every piece of that board to help keep it cool. And I always like to double check to make sure all the screws are nice and snug. And then after this, we can go ahead and open up the Synology NAS and take that apart and put this in. All right, we have our bay here. We're gonna go ahead and take it apart. So you can see there's our PCI slot. So we're going to take this out. So we can get the card in. Now we have our card. We're going to go ahead and slide that in there. Just like so. Uh, locks into place. Man, that looks nice in there. I love that. Right. Now, 
now that we have our card in there, we can go ahead and put on our top. All right, once we got that M2D20 in there, let's go ahead and power this thing up and go into the admin configuration and get that SSD caching going. All right, you guys, we're back now at the computer. Once the Synology NAS has beeped, we know we can go ahead and log back into it. So we've logged back in. We've opened our storage manager and you can now go to um, your storage pools, just make sure they're all there. And then if you go to hard drive and SSD area, you can see now we have our two um, NVMe drives now because they are attached to that card that we just put in. So now we can go to our SSD caching and hit create. And we're gonna do read and write caching since we have two of them. If we only had one, we could only do read only. So we're gonna do read and write. We're gonna select both those 500 gig NVMe drives. Hit next. And we're gonna do that RAID 1. And the max is that going to be that 465 gigs um, because when you do RAID 1, it's kind of redundant. So if one fails, the other, you can still operate. Um, so that's why you're only using 500 and not, you know, a terabyte. I'm just going to go ahead and wipe them. So once we add, the main purpose of this card while we're adding it is because now when we do read and write performance on our uh, drives, it's going to be a much faster um, because it, things are going to be cached on those faster NVMe drives instead of writing uh, directly to the hard drives how it would be if we didn't have this card in there. So basically our performance is just going to be better. So we're going to let this create and there you guys have it. Uh, that's how you install that um, NVMe caching card and you are on your way. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.